and uh, today I'm going to be replacing uh, one of the motors on the JJRC X6 Tarantula. Um, was going okay, but then all of a sudden it just flew, um, fell out of the sky, and it seems like this motor here is gone. So today I'm going to be replacing it. So what you need to do first is, is you need to remove the prop. sure you don't lose your screws. Pull the prop off and then you need to take the actual um, drive shaft out which just slips out and then there you see you can get access to actually you'll need to remove the um, propeller protectors because I forgot I've um, modified mine and that usually I think goes over that bit there. Yeah it does. But because I've modified mine and cut these bits off I don't need to take that off. So you'll need to take your um, prop guards off. But anyway that means we can get... actually I might need to take that off. <laughs> we didn't get around that after all. Never mind. But yeah you're going to need to take your prop guards off. And there we go, and then you've got hole this side, and you've got your screw underneath there. There's two screws on the motor which hold it in place. Make sure we don't lose them. So just move both of the screws and then you've got two screws on the top which hold this um, small cover remove that and then you can remove your motor now just remove it as simple as that get the right one to put back in there I'll put a link in the description to where I got these motors from. They're not that much money, so it's worth probably um, buying a set of these when you actually buy the tarantula. I've had quite a few flights on this one here, though. I must have had about 30 flights on it, so. And I do, um, when I'm flying the quad, I'm, I do generally run it at full speed all the time. It doesn't matter which way you put the motor in. As long as the connections on the um, plug are the right way round, which they are. And then we just need to plug the motor back in. There we go. Just tuck the wires down the side. And then get your cover. Just reassemble it as you took it apart. This will be the tricky bit getting the actual screws into the motor. wasn't too tricky so there we go one motor swapped out and then you just need to put your drive shaft back in and then put your prop in and then stick your um, prop screw in and you're done so there we go it's as easy as that anyway I'll put a link in the description to where I got these motors from just in case you're interested but uh, yep that's as easy it is to do it, there's no soldering required, so yeah. Links in the description down below. Please comment, um, subscribe if you'd like to, uh, give a thumbs up if you'd like to as well. 
So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.